Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and happy Valentine's Day. As you can see, I've dressed myself up like a chocolate-covered cherry in order to hop in the Valentine's Day special and share with you this Valentine's Day. Now, I had a completely different kind of video plan, and I recorded a bunch of different things with it, and it was one of those things where... It, it's very rare that I'll, I'll do a bunch of stuff and realize that stuff is just not working. And maybe, uh, <laughs> that just not working? Maybe that should happen more often? That me, that's your opinion? I don't, I don't know. And here we are in a game largely devoid of romance. And we're going to try and see what could Rockstar do to turn up the heat. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, and uh, we'll see what happens here. You'll notice I've changed the lighting on this, so it's a little bit more applicable to just everyday use. It's not the hot pink. I've gotten rid of all the hot pink elements. It's still the Valentine's Day special, but I think uh, I think it's even more conducive to romance if it's not blazing kind of you know super hot pink card kind of things. It's, it's it's no longer a one day car as well. We have that going for us. Let's get rid of the hot pink and make it something that truly would help you woo a woman. Put back regular white tire smoke so we're just zipping along here. No thanks, Lester. So what was my original plan? My original plan was to do a whole video just on romance and how relationship stuff could be reintroduced to the game. It's an interesting thing. I was thinking about, you know, basically the Fallout game. Like Fallout 4 has this really elaborate relationship system built into it with the, you know, the, the people you can partner up with. Or the stuff that you do impacts what they think about you. For instance, like if I had Piper with me, she probably wouldn't approve of me, you know, selling drugs through the biker gangs, but she might approve of me doing the weapon sales if they were going to properly moral rebels in some oppressed place so you know you get likes for certain things and dislikes for others and eventually you build a relationship and you can eventually accelerate that to a romance this game doesn't really have that as much i mean gta 4 had it a little bit in that there were there were people that you could date and you had to date them period you had to keep the relationship going you had to take them out a certain amount, and they would call you, and it, it got to be a little bit burdensome, actually, at some point. But, uh, because of that, you would get certain perks, like you could call them up and get health, or get weapons, or whatever. You could, you know, depending on who you were, you know, how many relationships you could keep going at once, you got more bonuses. Nobody, I think, wanted that for, uh, for GTA. It's uh, it it was it was something like for GTA Five because I mean that was it was again somewhat burdensome, and I, I decided to try and, and make a video about well what they could they do when you know for the next update kind of kind of a, a light-hearted sort of thing. But one of the things I've noticed maybe maybe I'll be cutting in some clips you know anything that was particularly funny from the my attempt so that you know the the footage isn't completely wasted. Um, what I discovered as I was kind of looking at how, you know, GTA 5 really works is, is it is really such a selfish game. Um, if you look at the GTA 5 single player, I remember there was some single player romance that you could do. You know, you could, if you, if, you, uh, if you earned the affection of some of the strippers from the Vanilla Unicorn, you could uh, then give them a phone call and have a date per se. But it's a, it was a very, uh, how shall I put this? So, do you want to get together or what? How do you know I needed to f Very get down to business kind of thing. It, it wasn't like, well, let's go out to the mall here or anything like that. Or, or even like going bowling or any of the things you would do in GTA 4. And it almost had the feel of this was a paid interaction even though i don't think any money changes hands it had that feel to it it you didn't get a sense of romance okay we need you to take this route to the buyers 
The cops will be trying to intervene, so we've allocated a big rig with scoop on the front to keep them off. Sound good? Great. Oh, this is lucky. This is the perfect mission for this. Whee! And, you know, the more I tried to take get video of it, and you know, it, it was a matter of... I started to feel like the whole thing ended up kind of sorted after a while. It was just really just a, a lower value of things than what I wanted to present on, you know, the feast day of Valentine, Bishop, and Martyr. You know, this is just... How freaky do you want to get? Just follow me, sugar. Okay, almost a mid-air collision there. I did try to figure out what characters in-game you might be able to date without adding any more NPCs, you know. This with your secretary is probably the closest to an actual relationship in that you have a very practical relationship on many levels where, you know, you're, you're both trying to work towards a common goal. She's trying to get you killed, but I mean, that's, you know... Not a usual relationship thing, but not uncommon. She doesn't look good. She gives me snacks and, uh... Okay, yeah, she's the secretary. It's probably inappropriate and probably illegal to try and, you know, proposition your secretary. But, I mean, this is GTA, and most of it's inappropriate anyway, so... so... There are people that you can walk up to all the time, and if there was some way that you could somehow select them... ...for your affection... You know, yeah, no. I hit the wrong buttons. All right, well, we're just going to have to not know. Um, or even just go to any club and pick up somebody, you know? I mean, there's no reason they couldn't make almost any NPC a romanceable character. I mean, it would just you'd, you'd have probably four or five different archetypes that you'd get. Select one, select romance, have them, you know, start hanging out in your apartment. You know, just set a place for them to be. Could it be that you could select someone from the club and have them just appear in your one of your apartments or something like that? Have them move in with you? I don't know. Have them wandering around baking cookies or something. Or, you know, it's hanging around. They could be going to work, coming home from work. They could be out in the game somewhere and then something bad happened to them because they could be actually in the game with you if they really wanted to get crazy. And there it goes. I was <laughs> watching that spoiler go down the street. So then there's Wendy. Obviously looking for love because she's got heart shaped glasses. <laughs> but uh, she does seem eternally blase. It's so I have this elaborate try to suggest to Rockstar. No, not like really suggesting. It was lighthearted. Like, look, hey, we could do this. But, like, the whole thing eventually felt very clunky to me, the way it was going about. Because you look at the characters you're dealing with, I mean, you know, and these are not people that you can really imagine would suddenly have a great deal of affection for you for the most part. They're very... All the characters are very much into their own thing. It was just not very valentine -y. We're talking about someone who knows how to party, knows how to pour a drink, she knows what to, how to fix what ails you. Clearly, no shyness whatsoever. This! Cindy is definitely someone you want to party with. And I think she'd be an excellent romance option for that built into the game. And so that's when I decide, hey, you know what I'm just going to do? I'm gonna, I, I still have my little outfit here. Like, whoa! And he landed it. Is him alive? Yeah. That sounds very good. Landed it. Top life. So I thought, rather than do that, rather than go through this whole thing of how to introduce love into GTA, I thought, well, hey, I'll keep the outfit. We'll cruise around with the Valentine's Day special and do some GTA stuff. Oh, it's floated over that car. Oh, dear, this isn't good. Catch it. It was like we just went over the car and just kept floating like a balloon. Like a balloon, I tell you. 
Hello. Excuse me, I'm really trying to get somewhere. And look, I'm not even going in the right direction. It's just a problem. You're trying to turn a truck around. Where can we turn this truck around? Here might work. If we take it wide this way, and I know the rocks are going to be a problem over here, but we... Alright. That's fine. Everything's fine. It's all okay. Well, I gotta pull over eventually when I get to the yellow smoke. You don't pull over until you get to the yellow smoke. Everybody knows that. What about Tom Connors? Man, is there anyone who's more eager to please? I mean, I think, you know, this guy is there for somebody, I think. I think if they're going to do this kind of an update, you know, maybe with it, as things go to GTA Online, he'd give you unlimited champagne. I mean, that would that's a thing. I had to break that. It almost floated it over again. I hit the same bump. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not do that. This is interesting how little love there is in this game. But then again, you know, love is a complicated thing to simulate, you know? It's not... Hello. Although I do think, you know, the Fallout 4 thing, but again, Fallout 4, the, the, me you know, the mechanics are completely different. When you're dealing with that, you actually have these people that you're, you're using as companions, where they follow you around and you do different things. Is that my car? That is similar to it. That's another Valentine's Day special-ish kind of car. That's a little Lampadaddy. Lampadaddy. It's a fun word to say, isn't it? Lampadaddy. Say it with me now. Lampadaddy. The yellow smoke. See, now I'll pull over. Now that the military's here and they're, they've, they've told you to leave me alone. Now, that'll be great. And the chopper commando goes down. Are we going to pick it up? This time, yeah, they're actually going to hook up. And I don't want to belabor the point. I don't want to go on and on and on about, you know, romance and true love. So much St. Valentine. Was apparently martyred because he used to help uh, oppressed, Chris oppressed Christians. Try to say oppressed Christians, which. It's, uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue as easily as perhaps you'd want it to. It's, um. Oppressed Christians. He used to, and he used to, he used to marry young couples, you know. In the ch into the church, and somehow this was able to get the, the guys out of being in the pagan army. Looks like you sold out to the right people, too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. At least that's what the Wikipedia says, so it must be true. And uh, there's little traditions like he used to, you know, actually cut out little hearts to remind people to stay faithful to the, you know, to their vows and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, there, there's some things that eventually, I guess in the era of Chaucer, um, developed the, the traditions that we have now for St. Valentine's Day. It does kind of sometimes boil down to, you know, he was martyred, therefore we eat chocolate, which is not really... That's a pretty pretty wide stretch, but I guess it's more complicated than that. Oh, where are we going now? Dude, just so much potential here. I mean, you've got Mini Madrazo. Poor Mini Madrazo. I mean, he's got his all of his daddy issues here because his father is just just a prick. His mother, well, I mean, you'd have to vie for affections with Trevor, and I'm I'm convinced that those those uh, those pictures weren't taken during those few days where she was kidnapped. I think I think that went far beyond Stockholm syndrome, and I think uh, I think they're back together. And I think you know, considering the relationship she probably has with Maxi Madrazo. Uh, it's a uh, probably you know probably a good thing. I think I think Trevor can be good for her. the girls or the girls. Certainly, I'm sure Rockstar could work something up for them because they're you know hey they're there to party. 
Does this not prove my theory that uh, their relationship continued on after the kidnapping? I think that's how we ended up with the KO Perico heist. Moving on. Let's see. Yeah, let's do some some club stuff. We'll go clubbing here for a, a Valentine's Day kind of thing. Clubbing. This is a nice car to cruise around in, by the way. This is just... The Pigali is one of my favorites. As far as the... Sports Classics class is concerned. Boing! Ooh, almost got him. I was toying with completely repainting this for this video. Because I do have an old Matchbox that was like a... Kind of like an orange-brown of the car on which this was based. That I think at some point the paint got worn on I As a small child, I tried to repaint it with gold model paint, and that didn't work out really well. I think I even gave up on one side. But it's, uh... But then I looked at the rich red that I... I somehow, I don't even know what the combination is on this car. It just looks lovely. I could not bring myself to change the red. I hit it. I think it was pretty obvious. I hit your car. It's like I hit his car. Ah, because Valentine's Day. Yes, I forgot about you, Simeon. And I intend to continue to forget. Forgetting is going to be my thing. Tanisha Jackson, I guess I'm busy, so you know what to do. Only lost a little health, though I was shot through the lungs. Uh, let's see, into the nightclub. Do we want to sell it first and then try and get the uh, the popularity back up? I'm sure the popularity is pooped. The popularity is unpopular, popular, popular, poop. Poopy doopy doop. Yeah, there's no popularity whatsoever. I guess it's going to depend. Are we maxed? We're not maxed. We have a good amount here, but we can do some nightclub management first and then maybe make a little more money, you know. It'll be a little trickier because I'm going to be using. Great. Do I have a job for you? Crowds can smell if a club isn't right. And right now, our club isn't right. We've been robbed for a truck of booze. Get it, and we can get back to running this place properly. Okay, so we're going to get the truck of booze. This means we're not using our extra easy breezy deluxe. We're going to do this on, on hard mode, as it were, with just a nothing between us and the crazies, with, but a Lampadati Pigale. French Connection style. I think they use a car like this in the French Connection, didn't they? I don't know. Chase. It is quick. I mean, it's a quick car. Especially for what it is. zip around here. It's an interesting thing. I hardly ever just drive. You know, I'm always flying someplace doing something. I'm always going the maximum, you know, either the meme style or the uh, the most effective route kind of thing. The new meta. You know, whatever the meta is. Look how slippery this is. We didn't run anybody over there. Slippery. And of course, it's a tale of two captains. Look at this experienced man of the sea. Surely, surely, there is someone who can find. One hell of an operation, eh, boss? Wrap that business up for good. Well, I mean, somebody out there probably find him attractive, right? Like, when you guys gonna sign up for the captain here? No. Yeah. What well, is a tale of two captains, but. To some extent, I feel like this is how it's supposed to be played.
you will park this right here. And let's see, can we get up on top of this building anyway? Is there a way? A way to climb up. You see where I'm going with this? What's up, man? We can sneak in here. This might work. And then, do we have any smoke bombs? We have four tear gas left. There's mine. Let's aim it right at the truck. Okay, should we use something that we don't have to reload? Have a laser! Oh, that's got to take down. I'm trying to do this without taking too much damage. Even though it kind of pisses off the whole neighborhood. This and the gas is up. This one guy doing a wide, a wide ranging running around. He may or may not get up. That's what's up. Lasers in the face. I've never taken this approach before where you come from behind. See you there first. Let's grab this. AP is up. I don't even know if he was hostile, but he looked like he was getting off his bike to cause trouble. I'm gonna drive into a pole. Poink. Is there a train coming by per chance? Because that would be fun. What? <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, people are coming. Yeah, you can shoot me all you want. Yeah, if you kill me, I'm just gonna walk over, shoot y'all, take the stuff back. I mean, it's, you know... We're not dealing with reality. Even in the slightest. Cut all these corners. We'll zip back, we'll deliver this, we'll request the car again. It'll be all ship shape because the mechanic will magically fix it. Yeah, let's take the, the wrong way in here. For speed. And they teleport in ahead of me because they know where I'm going. Okay, so they're both reduced to horns. You guys are walking because they don't think to jump any other car and throw their buddy on the ground. Let me peel away. I don't think I have any snacks. I think I'm snackless. Yeah, I need more snacks at some point. Let's deliver this and then we'll we'll get more snacks and then we'll come back.
Because there is a cooldown on this anyway. So in the train, while the cooldown's happening, we'll snack it up. One of the nice things about keeping the office next to the nightclub. We got resources. Resources are a thing. Resources are a thing. Walking outside, exit the nightclub. Now I'm going to send my mechanic to go pick up a vehicle where they know that that person was just shooting everybody, so it's, it's a safe thing. That's well, I'm a little shot up here in my... Well, at least they know not to mess with us anymore. Maybe that will bring in the cool kids. Gotta go. Probably one of his weakest lines, really, but... Vroom. sometime if you need some work not really the plan I could in theory let's let's do it this way let's park it over here just to freak people out I could put it back in the garage but hey it doesn't need to be fixed you know, easy. I don't have to go up all the steps to get to it that way. We'll just enter our office. Anything you need, boss. Anything? What about love? Okay, we're back. That's back to the original. Lots here. Yum. Okay. Erg. She gives me snack. See that? Some green juice and it fixes all the bullet holes. Let's uh, let's let's take care of all the bullet holes. How about we do that? And this immediately launders my stuff. It sews up all the holes. A little green juice and a little life boy, and all of a sudden you're no longer a gunshot victim. Okay, that's good. Normally I wouldn't care, but it is Valentine's Day, and we're trying to present. You know, you want to present a good look to everything. Now, snacks. We need some snacks. I'm ready to go on this app. Are you ready to give me snacks? Hello. What do you need? I need snacks. 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 Okay, that was slow. You having a tough time getting the E. Colas out of the freezer here? What's the deal? Sure I am like They're not yet. I got room. Wow, that is really slow. I wonder what's up with the, the servers today. This is the one that's gonna take. This is the one that's gonna take the time. Get in snacks. Snacks are fun. I love to get snacks from a beautiful secretary. All right. All right. There we go. Romance. There's none to be found here. All righty. <laughs> And we head back down. See, he's he's going for romance. Yeah, put on your nasty black mask, Daddy. I'm yeah, coming home. Right. What? All right, that was just bizarre. And so. 
That was a little bit more... See, that's the kind of stuff that you'd come across the guy. I mean, this is not a game for Valentine's Day, really. Really, no. Alright, I'm thinking... Hey, one more. Do you want to do another... Popularity mission here. I'm trying to think how much time I have. But I want to do this all in one shot. But I want to do back and forth, come back and forth, and do more popularity missions. Or maybe, you know, I'll just rather do more popularity missions with my uh, Deluxo and it'd be off theme and eh. Popularity is so popular. Poopity doopity doop. Okay, so this club needs some help, but maybe we just need some laser targeted marketing. You're gonna bring in some big fish into the club, then all the little minnows are gonna follow. Minnows? You make your money off the minnows. How do you get to be like a, like a, a super important clubber? So we order some uh, some silver to be delivered to the table. We didn't even spray it on anybody. I mean, come on. I don't know. If you're a big YouTube star, not gonna be something I'm gonna have to deal with. <laughs> I'm more of a niche thing. I think it's, it's gonna. This is this is a select club that watches this channel. It's, Okay, now we head to the ball. Alright, he got up, he got up. He got up, everyone stopped complaining. It was a side shot. It's not even my car, they're gonna blame Tony, so hey, it's Tony Prince. Now, Tony Prince has gotta be one of the most charismatic characters in the game so again he might be a you know basically above our league here as far as if you're trying to interact with people from a player to character standpoint but could you imagine the potential now because of his nickname he would probably be limited okay let's just move on to the next thing I don't know, I might end up doing the time warp again and then continuing on and making it a little bit longer video. Something special for Valentine's Day. I just don't know. Do we want to go longer? Do we want to go shorter? I just... I just don't know. Everybody clear away. What was this about? So you, you want me to just get some strength points here and just beat the crap out of you in the street? I've never had this happen before. That's weird. What was what was that about? I, I beat my horn? And they got angry? That wasn't very Valentine's Day. Oh well, some extra strength points. I did I did try and top that off. I don't know, maybe you need a little bit of something. Is 
Did they think because I was dressed like a chocolate covered cherry that I was a pushover? Ooh, almost slipped it. Almost slipped it through there. Almost slipped it in. But it did and it got caught. Okay, let's just zip around the bend here. And wrong way in. Bang. The popular. The popularity. Exit the night. It's, it's easier to exit the nightclub, walk around, and then go through the whole club slowly. Because you have to look styling. Hmm. So we've got the cooldown on this. Do we want to do a bigger run? All right. Well, let's see if they make the difference. They're not celebrities, but no celebrity wants the VCNA at the moment. But see, we're already halfway up the darned. Uh, popularity range but I don't want to sit here and just wait okay let's do the sell goods because then you know as long as it doesn't max out we're, we're making the same amount of money per minute okay time to offload some of this stuff you're making two dead drops and the third is a face-to-face -face with the buyers people they seem pretty paranoid, so look out for trouble along the way, okay? Okay, I'm glad I'm doing this in the speedo. It's a little bit easier to maintain things. I'm going to leave the main gun selected, because as I recall, this is like trouble all the way. After the first drop. First drop, things are on me. It's not a bad mission, though, overall, as long as, especially if you're not using missiles, you know, if you, if you got some of the bigger trucks and then you're trying to torpedo them, then they end up crashing into you and setting you on fire, and, or you blow the, the missile too close, uh, it's all kinds of problems. But with the gun, usually pretty good. Guns and mines and all kinds of lovely things. Ping. Almost to the far first drop. Doodly do do Valentine's Day. Playing this all, all getting all this gameplay well in advance of Valentine's Day, so I have time for editing. That's a that's a thing, so hopefully. And then the fighting begins. At least you don't have to set the uh, waypoints on this one, it'll set them for you. And who's coming at us now? Angry Jeeps. Kaboom. It's a matter of kaboom. We'll get about 450k out of this. 450k. I mean, we'll take the um, take the limo ride back to the. Uh, Back to the nightclub there. That would be... Woo! <laughs> Did that guy keep going? I don't know. I think it just looked like my wheel might have just touched his uh, steering wheel. That wouldn't have worked out well for the middle ones. Where are we headed? Right here. I'm not kidding you. Not again. Come and get me. Come on. Kaboof. Hmm. 
Machine guns, machine guns. I don't think it, I think I should be able to lose them through there. Those maces aren't real quick. Sometimes it's better just to zip away than try to tangle. You never know, they can get a lucky shot to the face. You know? Kids held one. Missed me all together. That was. Deliver the goods. And it's a protect protect the buyers people one. Oh, that da 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 da. Yeah. Whoa. Excuse me. Allow me to take care of this. Let them to have the right impression as they show up here that things are not going to end well for them. I don't need to blow the jeeps up, but why not? And we run away. Run away. What if I were to go get a chicken sandwich? Would that be far enough away to... That's something they should add in the next game. Getting, getting snacks and stuff again as it's closed. There's no chicken to be gotten there. There we go, four hundred sixty-nine thousand. It's actually pretty close, so we will just call up the romance special here. We wait for the call. Yeah, they didn't. There it is. I'm always ranking up Kingpin style. The romance. And the sale is made. You get the cash. I get not to worry about being caught with that stuff in the club and sent to the can. It's a win for both of us. Do 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 do. Doo doo doo. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to take a quick, quick break for station identification. Rather, let me make sure that I actually recorded any of this. That's how things have been going as of late. And um, we'll come back and let's do the time warp again. We'll probably have lost a little bit, a little bit of. Uh, popularity by that point because I need to take a little bit of a break here but we'll continue in a couple minutes in my time and like pretty much instantly in your time I mean I don't know why am I even uh, exp over explaining I tend to over explain it's, it's one of the things I do and let's see we still a little popular we've lost a little popularity but not too much popularity let's sit down are we recording are we recording yes we are the romance nightclub management. What will we get? Play music to promote to the club. Do? What to do? Something classy and understated for an underground venue like this. I know we're going to put our DJ on a blimp, pick it up, and fly it over LS. Then everyone will be here tonight. For love. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I could just pull up a buzzard and do this, but you know, we want to use the Valentine's Day special. We want to get out here and drive and enjoy the driving experience like that guy just did. Good cars out there. Comments, we got furnace. What a day for a G Fred. G Fred in the today. I actually did. I did solo a G Fred just to do. I didn't record it. It was sloppy. There was no question about it. I wrecked a lot. But I did finish. It was like 25, 44, something like that. I mean, not a fast time. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're doing stream record stuff, you're doing it in 19 minutes. But I mean, you know, five, six minutes off when you. I, I really never really done one straight up one before. I did do Viserys Fred when I made that custom one just to use the Viserys. Okay, you're really giving me no choice here. <laughs> there you go. Fix another one because you don't know how to open it. Silliness. So I was happy. Hey, I was happy. And I did, uh, I did actually perform the Hail Mary. If you don't want to talk about, you know, there's a, what, there's a video, what is G-Fred? I did perform the Hail Mary run there and I didn't make it all the way, but I did, uh, I didn't get it to the parachute to work and got halfway across the water, so. If someday, someday I get into an actual roughly 1322 G-Fred race, I might actually be able to finish, so that's, that's a nice call. This Bucci. This is an interesting top-down view that we've got going here. I wonder what that, why that is. This is odd. I'm expecting it to, to change a little bit here. I'm grabbing the mouse. Oh, come on. Put me behind. A little bit more normal. No, this is like the view that's normalizing. There we go. That's what, more of what I want. Hmm, all the commotion. Forgot to spin the wheel. I have hardly any parking on this character, so I don't want to do it with this one. Although it is yellow. Aerial marketing. It's underrated, believe me. Just wait till you see the crowd show up. Good work. Okay, do we dare risk spinning the wheel on a character that has almost no garage space? Or do I switch over? To the rusty jack. Okay, because I was able to land that successfully, successfully, we'll take the spin here. If I have to sell my Don Johnson look-alike, then so be it. I'll sell something else. Really, really, really need more parking. All right, let's spin it. And we'll hope. There, there's, there's your source of romance. This should be this person. Next update, everyone should be able to date her. That should be the thing. She's always here. She's obviously in need of someone to stand with. Romance. Get that romance thing going. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about parking. Da 
don't have to worry about much, I guess. Alright, well then. Hmm, some romance going on over here. Romance. Let's call up the uh Let's see, did, did that pull in our no we have to pull our wheels in. Requesting. So a couple more a couple more missions we should be able to say we have one hundred percent. Maximum happiness popularity. All ready for Valentine's Day. Uh, that that seems like something that you'd want. You'd want a hopping club for Valentine's Day. I think that's because why not? Hello, the question. You're supposed to do the cool Dukes of Hazard slide across. Come on. And do do ding. Would love someday to take this out onto a you know an actual course, but I mean you know the, the trick of the matter is is that as quick as it is, it's nowhere near what you're gonna be pulling down with one of the top cars or you know like a Turismo Classic or a Cheetah Classic that we just didn't win. Can we get to, are we down here early enough for, ooh, a little bit of a... Yeah, here we are. Perfect. Let's try to do the jump. Cuidado! Cuidado, indeed. Cuidado. How was that a fail? How could that possibly, I, I, I landed that perfectly. Grab some money from the arcade. Never going. I do not want to go back to to Cayo Perico. No. Not for the heist. No. Maybe to dance. They tell you the party's not happening, but the party's always happening. So that's. Load me up here. Someday. Please. Friday plays. Hmm, safe is full. There you go. Oh, it's frozen there. Ugh. Yeah. Things are happening. Wah. Okay. Hmm, this session may be, may be running out of gas. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll grab the money in the nightclub while we're at it before we make the deposit. May as well. Right, why not? Exit Arcade. Put the lines on this thing. I recall the you know the real Citrons that these are based on. They have really funky suspension, like hydraulic kind of stuff. Wait a minute. There are people in my session. When did this become 
an active I went from public session. It was an empty public session. I guess we could keep finding these guys. We'll loot the guard again. Right out of his butt. There you go. Take whatever you're gonna take. Seven grand. All right, well, that may make things interesting here as we... Because I'm not going to change sessions. I'm just going to continue trying to get popularity. Now, I wonder who got into the session. Let's take a look at that, too. Popularity. It's a thing. Okay. Who is here? We got... It's long shot, so looking very much like a glitcher, modder, something or other. This doesn't look good. I saw how you get the fire hat and the knee pads. That's um, and someone who's completely blah. Uh, yeah, this this. This guy doesn't even have. Okay, so he's not in a crew. All right. Well, maybe things will get a little interesting, folks. We're just going to plot along here. We're not doing any. We're not doing any high risk stuff. So, I'm not planning on selling any other. I don't think I'll have enough time in the bunker by the time I wrap this up. Not enough time in the bunker. Not enough time in the bunker. Ooh, you know what though? Let's, let's stand up. Let's get the, let's let's pull that 27k out and deposit it all before I go back out there because I don't want to lose anything. I don't want to lose $500 when I get killed 16 times by the modder. This 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 uh, video this this video this 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 this, this video may end quickly. <laughs> so I got 81k here. Thirty-eight million eight. So we're, we're close. I think one more bunker run will have thirty-nine million. One more overnight on this. I could probably have forty, but I mean, I'm not really pushing for it. I'd rather I'd rather get this back up to maximum popularity and then play normally, do some racing, maybe even I don't know which kind I'd use. I want to get back to you know. Oh, here we go. I got an idea, okay? Nothing is more toxic to the modern nightclub than the property developer. They mean noise complaints, rising rents, bad shoes, and shutdown orders. And they're only here because we made the area cool to begin with. And guess what? We got some suits circling right now. Move them off and people will start coming here again. Okay, so which suits do we want to go after first? This suit. It matters more now that we're not flying around. This will take a little while longer. But we got 20 minutes. We should be able to do this unless we get killed repeatedly by modders. This will require the proper technique of scaring them away with a gun and then doing bad things to the cars. I've got a laser weapon. You must want to run away. Everybody. Everybody. She could use a bat. I press her mark douche. On the wing. That really does take a long time, doesn't it? I wonder if this increases your strength at all. That'd be funny. Oh, 
Okay. Next one on the docket, this one. Stuff's exploding. This might not end well. Oh, the excitement. Can the Valentine's Day special survive in a hostile atmosphere? With its slipperiness. Slippery. Slippery. Missed a turn. Ah! It's so slippery I missed a turn. Slippery. There we go. We get out, switch weapons. I've got a laser and you don't have one. I'll run away. Run away. It's all faster. I mean, time is of the essence at this point because we've got. The oppressor mark Dwaysh on the wing here. I don't think that's my Kostaka, is it? No. So someone's got a Kostaka out there, which means missiles could be coming in at any moment. Pavel is one of the most compelling characters in the entire game at this point. I think the one thing that everybody agreed about from the Kale Perico Heist is Pavel's awesome. So. Obviously, he has to would have to be considered some kind of romantic sort of companion. If they were to do a romantic sort of companion update to GTA 5, I don't see how you get around that. That was probably, uh... Well, I heard when something was exploding before. That was a quote, suck on so... Okay, I think we'll kick the, take the shortcut here. Whee! How close is this guy? He's like right there. Okay, let's wave the gun around. Waving the gun around. Run away. And now we run away. Let's... With romance in our minds. Romance. Romance. Slippery. You've got to be slippery. And slippery. Yeah, they're, they're all amazed at how slippery this is. Slippery. Okay, not so slippery. I admit that wasn't very slippery. But we are going to be slippery. Slippery AF. Slippery. Hear the horns? That means... Run away. Run away. Everybody just run away. A little bit of lag there. I've got... I'm on water! I'm in the sky! 
The cars were flying! Just to be clear here. Kind of like, you know. Cargo battle. What kind of cargo battle? The Zancudo. Well, I was trying to, last time I tried to do this with the Kotsaka, then things got odd. Well done, my friend. I've seen what developers do to these areas. It always ends boring. Do we want to try to go through that level of effort? Okay, I guess the first question. Let's drop out here on the beach for a moment. I don't see anybody out there. Oh, it's, no, this is a regular Zancudo one. Oh, that's actually pretty easy to do. Let's, um... Well, I'll tell you, I won't, I won't make the time unless... We do, we do abandon romance here for a little bit. I love how they they deliver these vehicles here. It's like, yeah, just run across all this traffic. Can't climb the wall yet. Can't climb the wall yet. I can climb the wall there. a quick flash of the rifle and then they just you know usually they run you but the nice thing about this is I was headed back to the nightclub anyway see if I can finish off <coughs> not the runner this I'll get to drive whatever it is back if successful Woo! We took that a little bit too too close just a little too close Go to Fort Zanko, set for missiles. Where am I here? I was gonna say, yes. A little bit of an artillery run here. You see, this would have been a lot trickier with the. Uh, I'm tanking bullets, and this thing isn't going to hold up very well. But it's not; it doesn't have to come home with me. So I was close. I think. There are a lot of mercenaries. Mercenaries. 
Get a little bit more of an angle here. I think we're going to have to go down and take some out manually. I am going down. That's the entire plan. killed. Are they coming? Who's over clown? See, I think I have to take out the mercenaries before they'll let me take the truck. Which means I have to kind of shoot my way to that mercenary. Where's the last mercenary? Steal the cargo. I don't really want to play with you, no. That's not that's not my thing. Okay, what does we get in the heavily armored truck? We should be okay. There is a small thing of getting away from the three star wanted level, but I should be able to do that and get to where I'm going and you know. A little demon drag going on there. Okay, I, I'm kinda stuck. Okay, I didn't know this was a possibility. I can't fall down, I can't get... Okay, am I, are they still angry at me? No, but we can... I think we're gonna need the boop gun. And that's a, that's a big maybe, let's... I just fell down the cliff. Okay, that's, that wasn't where I wanted to go. It was where I was going, obviously, but not where I wanted to go. The boop. Good luck getting it. Yeah, that's... Um, that's a little bit higher rate of fire than usual for the boop gun. How the heck is he firing the boop that hard? Okay. Well, I mean, you know. But T was firing at an extremely high boop fire rate. I mean, that was ridiculous. I mean, that was like machine boop gun fire. Which, which, which guy is this? Shoratum. There's nothing that says he should be a... Uh... How the heck was he doing the boop gun with like, basically no... No re recharge. I mean, there was no... Um, no delays. Oh, 
this isn't going to end well. Steal the cargo. What? From what? What the hell did he do? Well, and it just gives me theoretically a uh, buzzard and uh, well, you know, we could do the services. Code Saka. Request Code Saka. Services. Code Saka. Request Sparrow. Maybe he jumped out of it and hit me with an explosive uh, sniper, but I didn't even see him. We could do something completely evil and just chase him with Totsaka missiles, right? How far off is he? He's probably almost out of the range of the Totsaka missiles at this point. They're pretty good, but they're not infinite. Well, that was annoying. If I hadn't, uh, if I hadn't gotten stuck. That was weird. It's like I got demon dragged and I could not get off of that that jeep and it just pushed me off into the the hole of the bridge. Very strange. Looks like he's gonna deliver it. I don't think I can get in in time. I mean, I'm not upset about that. That's just the nature of the business battles. You're supposed to compete. Well, aren't you lucky? You know, I was lucky. But that, that boop gun. The boop gun was unreasonable. That's not how it's supposed to work. It doesn't go boop, 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 boop. It's not a machine boop gun. Well, let's talk about Lazlo. Now, there's some complicated things about Lazlo because on the one hand, he's such an intense character and part of that Intensity is the, the the intense pretense that he has that he is actually popular when he's actually portrayed as not. So that's a thing, you know. That's that's a thing, and there is the fact that Laszlo is really going as him. He's acting as himself here. Now he's see, see. There's a thing here. He's he's portraying a character, a caricature of himself for the good of the game. But it's a real guy, so I don't know that they'd want to make him, you know, a love interest for millions and millions of GTA players. I, I don't know that's, if that's going to be a thing. But you never know. Especially since he's no longer involved with uh, with Rockstar, they couldn't really get any new uh, any new voice acting out of him. And you really wouldn't need that for this. So I'm guessing forever alone. Oh yeah. Yeah, just one more reason for me to put this into the glitches and hacks playlist along with, you know, so many others. Enter the nightclub. Continue on. Alright, probably we would have been at full tilt if we hadn't then cashed in 10 grand there. So, technically speaking, the house is still fully packed. But this is Valentine's Day, so we're going to go for the, the maximum. Power 
that'll do. That's probably more glitch than a mod, but I don't know how you get it. Hopefully it's just like something simple, like take the limo and go get a VIP, something. Oh, okay. So here's an idea. I've been called a bitter, vindictive, old has-been stuck in the 1990s, and you know what? They're absolutely right. You're going to destroy Bahama Mama's supply chain, so all their customers are forced to come here. You don't get places being nice. That's pretty vindictive. Not very, not very, um, loving. What can I do with Valentine's Day there? What are the truck's locations? Coming in, way out there, hopefully coming in. Okay, let's go south to north, just for the heck of it. Sparrow should be up to it. Keep your eye! On the sparrow. Okay, where is it? Must be under the bridge. Flying cover here. What the hell did I hit? I hit a, did I, did I nuke a light pole or something? Okay, buzzard should be up. Stupid sparrow. I must have fired a missile into the light pole. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, where'd you go? Okay, where's the next closest? That one. Moving and working its way up. See, the only real limitation here is the time, and so we, I think we should be fast enough. To deal with them all. Okay. The flow would lead me to think that if we just keep going in this direction, it'd be faster. Unless we go all the way back down, then all the way back up. But we, you know, work is a, a function of, you know, force over distance. I mean, we're just going it's still going to be the same thing. We're going to go all the way up to here and have to go all the way back down. All the way up and all the way down. Why did you do that? It's because it's what he does. Boredom inhibits madness means that if you were bored, you'd be less mad. I don't think that's using the word the way he thinks he's using the word. Ah, sitting duck.
One left of 15 minutes shouldn't be an issue. So I always saying sorry, bro, when the guy kills him back. Oh, that's what I say. He was just swag. Why are you killing swag? He's just swag. Now they're killing each other. I'm not your bro friend. I'm not your friend, pal. Hopefully we won't have to cross paths with them on our way to the last truck. Revolver battle. No, that's... Again, the nice part about this is it should keep them entertained while uh, I go and do what I'm going to do. Because I'm not really up for a revolver battle. Not in the mood. This is like right next to the... It's like they're delivering to my place. I should just steal the liquor. Missiles inbound. Just survived. He wasn't lined up or he kept a ba bang. It's the wrong angle of attack for the missiles. They're not ruining missiles, so you know. Who was that? Not the guy we wanted to kill. Let's hope they don't go come here wearing Hawaiian shirts and sandals. I dig the sandals, but Hawaiian shirts, you know, what kind of you got against Hawaiian shirts, you know? They drink, they pay, it's all good. I think that's pretty much all I've wanted to accomplish here. We know max popularity. The joint is hopping. Let's go check the hopping joint. Yeah, it's me. See them hopping? Mission accomplished. And on that note, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. I'm going to probably lose the... Uh, the chocolate cherry kind of look here. Go back to normal. And uh, you have a great night. You were with me all the while. Yeah, so we come to the conclusion this is not a very romantic game. Unless you're Trevor or Lester. In which case, love is in the air. I guess Michael did does get back with his wife if you play it the right way. So, yeah. I, I don't know how well this worked out. But happy Valentine's Day, everybody.